Olivia. So welcome to another video. So in today's video I'm going to be showing you what's in my iPhone. So let's get right into the video. Right so you can see my phone screen over here. So um, for my wallpaper I actually made it myself because I like photoshopped it and everything. So it's just like pattern of watermelon, cactuses and pineapples. So so inside my phone I've just got like on the main page it's got phone, calendar, photos, camera, clock, maps, notes, wallet, weather reminders, iTunes, iBooks, mail, news, home, FaceTime, health, app store, contacts and I've got a folder for extras and that's just got compass, tips, voice memos, find friends, find iPhone, calculator, podcast, watch and stocks. And then for the next page I've just got my Instagram and then I've just got my Snapchat and then next to that I've got a Fitbit app and if you don't know what Fitbit is it's basically just I don't know how to describe it but you just put on your wrist it's kind of like a brace not a bracelet like you know and it just counts your steps so then I've got a YouTube folder so I've got an app called Alive so it's very good for like making um, transitions so that's what I usually use it for and then I've got Intro Maker so this is just making intros and transitions again same with this one but it's got different ones and then Effect Car um, I think this is just the same yeah don't know why I have so many so and next to that I have got Pixie and I usually use this for my thumbnails because I usually edit like on my phone. So ever just get like imagine that. So you put like, stickers and then you can take text. So you can do different like fonts and I like how the colours kind of like ombre. So go like that. And loads of other stuff. So then I've got Vimo or Vimo. I don't know. Don't know how to pronounce it. But this is also very good for like um, creating videos by like transitions or like effects on it. So you can get motion stickers. So these ones can just like move. So you get a heart, and you can make it as long as you want. So it'll be like, so you can do that. And then I've got YouTube, obviously, because it's in the YouTube folder. So don't need to go into that. And then I've got Studio. So this is for YouTube too. But I like to like, if I don't have my computer with me, um, I can just like put um, like thumbnails or like edit and everything. So yeah, so then I've got iMovie. I've got iMovie because I usually edit on my computer, but if I'm like out somewhere, I can just like edit on my phone. So most of you know what that is. So then onto the next page, I've got Wordificator. And this is like, I like this because you can like do loads of stuff with it. So you basically just, put um words in and it just makes it like kind of kind of collage but you can make different shapes with it so if going to the text settings I can just like um let's write YouTube like N D E then I could load words or not load words save words and then we'll just do that and then it just makes it in a collage. I can do different colours and like different shapes and everything, so that's cool. 
So next to that I have got Pet Collage and this is also good for my thumbnails so if I can't do anything on Pixie I can do on Pet Collage too and, and I also like to as like my Insta Instagram's not really but like if they can't fit I'll just do it on Pet Collage let's go like freestyle just like a background can like draw on it and can put like loads of stickers and go into internet and like put pictures up and everything so that's really cool and then I've got draw on VS and I don't really use this because like I just got like a week or two ago so um, what should I do? Um, I can just do like that, and then it just takes a while to load. But you base ba basically can just like draw on your video, kind of, because I don't have uh, any other apps to do that. So then I've got my games folder. So I've got Color Switch. And it's very addicting, I would say, because it's very fun. So I always like to go in the game modes because they're much funner. It's so, like the floor is lava. Oops, I tried it well. So then I've got Dancing Line, and this is also a very good game, but I am not very good at it. I'm not even past level one, but it's very good. <laughs> So, you may just tap whenever it's like a corner, and then you try to get like up to hundred percent. So you see, you can see that's got ten percent there. So you can tell you through when you do it, and you can also collect gems and like crowns and everything. So it's that okay. So for some reason, it keeps on stopping whenever I go on Bacon Escape, but it's just this game of that you just got a peg and you can change the character and everything and you just like tap things for avoid it from like falling or anything so we'll just move on to the next app so the next app I've got guess colour and it's basically just like it gives you like a logo or something and you just like tap the colour you think it is or you know it is and then I've got the four is lava so this game is also obsessive so you basically just like tap the sides of for like to land on to try and like get away from the lava because um as far as you go lava gets quicker so you have to like tap quicker so stay there so then i've got adult coloring and i really like this game because well, it's not really like games in app but you basically just like pick a design to like colour and so let's say if I want to do this one you basically just get the colour oops snap and you just like tap whenever you want you can zoom up and everything so then that's my games folder so wait I don't even know why I have these so I'll just delete these <laughs> So I don't know why I really have them. So then like on like the bottom bar I have just got Safari, Messages, Settings and Music. So I really hope you liked it and if you do give it a big thumbs up. So I will see you in the next video. Bye!